So I'm back into Adobe Dimensions and I thought it would be neat as I'm putting these ad layouts together to add some 3D elements to really help these products pop, especially if I'm going to be doing single ads that are just going to be advertising one particular uh, color. So let's go ahead and start with gold. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. I just have our gold tube left. I'm going to add kind of a cool gold 3D element. We don't have to sit there and render it ourselves. There's lots of ones that are already here for the taking that we could just drag in. So if I, I'm just right here in the models area over here on the left, I'm going to think of a really cool thing that would go great with gold. Uh, so there's spears, there's cubes, there's all sorts of things we can use. I thought it'd be really neat to use a drop. Let's see if we can find it. There's a drop, kind of like a lotion drop. Thought that would be really neat. I'm going to place this behind our object. So I'm just going to go ahead and release. And there's our gold drop. And let's make it gold because right now it's just, it just doesn't have any texture applied. So let's go down and drag our texture in. Let's see how gold looks. Ooh, that looks wonderful. There's also a damaged gold. Ooh, I like kind of the more damaged textured one. So I think I'm really liking this. We can continue to play around with camera angles and kind of instead of having our product sit straight up we can add a more dynamic positioning to our product kind of make it kind of come over here of course we have to go grab our move tool move it up a little bit so we have these three little handles so this will move it to the left and right the green will move it up and down so have it maybe float a little bit. That'll bring it in. And let's get our rotate, select and rotate tool. Continue to play around with positioning. We'll also take our drop and, and modify that as well. And we can change our uh, camera, which is going to be over here in this area. So yeah, working in the 3D space can be a little challenging if you don't have any experience in it. I'm still getting used to it. It's kind of a new thing for me, too, personally. So now i got to think, okay, that's bringing it forward. That's bringing it to the left. And let's rotate this guy right about here. I think we're pretty close. Let's bring him down a little bit. Let's have him resting. But let's just angle him back. Oops. Okay, so don't worry about the lighting because you can always go back to your environment and change the lighting down there. So let's change our rotation and see what it looks like. And it's going to do it globally. So it's going to reflect on the little eye drop tool or the uh, a little droplet. So let's see what's going to be the best lighting for us. Probably right about there. Kind of the lighting coming to the left that looks great so we're going to go ahead and go to render and that's our old one but it's going to go ahead and update it for us and i'm going to do a medium uh, quality and i'm going to go ahead and render and i'm going to have both photoshop and png and i'm going to do the rest for the other two i'm going to pick out uh, some other symbols here real quick now that we did gold let's try silver so let's go ahead and delete these two and see what we can combine with silver Let's go ahead and bring in uh, kind of a cool shape, different than the uh, drop. Let's do something. We make it do a splash of metal. Let's go ahead and bring in this splash. It's a little too crazy, isn't it? Whoa. Yeah, you can see some really neat things you can do. Let me go ahead and drag in and make this silver. See what that looks like. Oh, interesting. Let's go ahead and try something else. Hmm. I think one of these little geometric shapes would be pretty neat. Let's go ahead and drag this in. Yeah, that looks neat. We could do it on the other side. So we can kind of have, since the gold drop was over on the left, we could try this on the right. And we can rotate this guy. Getting a rotate tool. Rotate him that way. And let's get our silver texture on here. Uh, here's a brush metal. Let's see how this looks. Uh, damaged silver. 
and then regular silver. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now it's catching light. And I twist it up. Yep. A little bit more of an angle of our product here. Let's bring that up a little bit from the ground so it casts a little shadow, maybe not too much. Now positioning, this is always the hardest part. Just going to rotate and continue to rotate that so we get the right catch of light. Okay, so we can always go and change the rotation of our environment. Reduce the intensity maybe a little bit and uh, change the rotation. Make sure we catch the right light. right about there. Let's go ahead and render that and we'll do that on medium. That'll take a couple minutes and then we'll do our last one which is copper. Last but not least let's do copper. Let's go ahead and bring our original document out and let's add something cool for copper. So let's go down and I think I already had one picked out I thought would look really neat. Kind of a really interesting shape. Go ahead and pop that in here. Kind of a really unique be neat if it was kind of surrounding it. And I really thought this was cool when I started to add the copper texture. So it really has a beautiful shine to it. So see that? You can actually move this around and rotate it. I don't want it to overwhelm the product, so I want to make it a little bit smaller. And now I want to get the product, give it an interesting spin. If you wanted to make a particular object smaller compared to another, there's a scale tool. You're going to be able to Select and scale, and then you'll be able to kind of change the size a little bit so it's not so overwhelming. Okay, so now we can go back to our environment. Maybe reduce the intensity a little bit and the rotation. Everything seems to kind of have a right light source, so let's continue that. We're going to go ahead and render this as medium, and we're all done. We're going to select that as a PNG. We also have a, photo, a Photoshop file where we can bring these in to Photoshop, and uh, we can edit these files and export as a, a PNG. Um, so we can be able to toggle that background color off and on, and I just did a little clipping mask and faded the shadow reflection so that I can, so it doesn't have that sharp reflection cut off. And I'm just going to bring all three of these in and we're going to make some social media graphics with these.